Good morning, welcome to another vlog. So today is Wednesday. Some of you guys know I work in the hair salon Wednesdays through Saturdays. So today is my first work day of the week. And this is gonna be my second week back at the salon since we've reopened. And it's another fully booked week. I'm very excited, but I wanted to bring you guys along and show you a little bit of what I'm doing at the salon because last week I did not vlog anything at work because it was just like very overwhelming my first week back. But now I'm like starting to kind of get in a groove. But let me show you what I'm wearing today. I know you guys always ask me to share more of my outfits and whatnot, so very basic and simple today. So I have this turtleneck tank top that is so old. I want to say it's from Charlotte Russe. I've literally had this since like 2012. And then these high-waisted mom jeans I actually just got recently. This is my first time wearing them. They are from American Eagle. I love them. They're like a faded black denim and they are nice and stretchy and so comfortable. And then for my shoes I have these mules that are from Aldo. These are also pretty old. I've had these for a few years, but love them. They are also very comfy. Oh, and then this necklace is from Vibe Season. I just realized that all of my clients today are getting red hair color. So that should be interesting. <laughs> Wish me luck that I don't get stained. Hello, Bella. This is our new salon dog. Mustang officially got adopted. So now we got Bella. Look at this body. <laughs> so client number one is my friend Kelly. And it had been like 10 or 11 months since we had did her color. She was getting just like a solid all over red. But she wanted something that was going to be more low maintenance. Because she lives kind of far and she works a lot. So she can't make it into the salon for touch-ups every few weeks. So we decided to do more of a balayaged kind of red. So that it would just have like a softer grow out. So I just freehand painted her with a clay lightener all over. Leaving a couple pieces out here and there. And then I did a red gloss. I don't remember my exact formula, but I did something that was like a little bit more fun than in like a natural red, but I didn't go super bright and crazy because she's not allowed to have any unnatural hair colors for work. So this is kind of like right on the line of what she can get away with. And then I gave her a nice blunt bob, a little bit shorter in the back, longer in the front, added some beach waves, and voila. So then client number two, it had been several months since she got her color done as well, and she was coloring her hair herself. But as you can see, she had a lot of regrowth. Her natural color is like a really ashy, dark blonde. And then she wanted a haircut. So I just did an all over color. She wanted like a more copper, kind of like natural redhead kind of color. But I used permanent color on her to cover up those roots. And then I just brought a gloss down onto her ends to refresh the old red and did a nice clean cut on her and added some side bangs. Just got home from work. I immediately changed out of my clothes, took my bra off and everything, and I'm just in a robe, and I feel so free and so good. <laughs> but I am very hungry now, so I'm about to have a salad. I've been making this like nonstop the last couple of months. It's just chickpeas, cucumbers, tomatoes, red peppers, parsley, and then you can put red onion in. Normally I do, but this time I was all out. And then I just squeeze half a lemon on top and put some salt and pepper and that's it. No dressing or anything. It is so fresh, so delicious. I love it. I'm not a salad person really, but this is delicious and it's so filling. So I'll just make big, huge batches of that at a time and then put them in these individual Tupperwares. So then that way, whenever I'm hungry, it's already made for me. Super easy. Good morning. It's time to water all of my plants.
everyone is thriving and looking really nice and healthy and thank you guys so much for all of your advice and tips that you've left in my previous vlogs I am new to plant owning so I tried to do as much research as I could online about all of the plants that I have and how to best take care of each of them but you guys have given me a lot of helpful tips too It's a couple hours later, I'm getting ready for work now and I just made myself a smoothie. It's very simple, all I put in it is baby spinach. I use this unsweetened coconut milk as my liquid base. And then I have some frozen bananas that I just have cut up in halves. So I put half of a banana and then some of this frozen fruit mix in there. And I love this little blender. I got it when I first moved in here. It's the Nutribullet. I got it from Walmart and it's just so convenient because it's small so it's easy to clean and the actual like blender cup itself you can just drink straight out of and it comes with like a little top if you want to bring your smoothie with you on the go. And then I just filled my water bottle up so that I can bring this with me to the salon so I can stay nice and hydrated, especially because it's been so hot and having to wear the masks. This bottle is from the brand Ello. I got it from Target, it is a glass bottle. And these glass straws are from Amazon. So I'm about to head out the door to go to work, but I just wanted to show you my outfit real quick. It's very casual, very comfortable and simple. So I have this Guns N' Roses. This is actually a t-shirt dress. It's like a little bit too short for me to just wear by itself. Cause like especially if I lift my arms up it literally my butt cheek comes out and then I have these plain black bike shorts underneath that I've had for years from H&M and then I'm wearing these white adidas and then I'm wearing my gold hoops that I wear pretty often from Urban Outfitters these are called the everyday hoops and I'm pretty sure they are still available on their website. I did some beach waves which I showed you guys in my last vlog how I do them. This is the tool that I use to do the beach waves, the bedhead wave artist. So I'm just gonna grab my stuff, head to the salon, and I will see you there. So my client on this day, she was my only client for the night because it was a really long six hour appointment. As you can see, she had natural virgin hair with a little bit of some old lighter color just on the ends. And her goal has been to be blonde for the longest time, but anyone that she ever went to in the past, they were never able to achieve it for her because her hair is really thick. Um, and it's pretty dark naturally. So it's a big time consuming process, but it's definitely achievable. She wanted to keep her natural root up top and then have a lot of dimension in the mid strand area, but then have solid blonde on the ends. So I foiled her entire head and I did very thin teased slices pretty much all over. And then just in the top crown area, I did little weaves and then tipped out the ends so that her ends were completely solid. The application alone for this took like at least two hours and she didn't want anything too ashy or cool tone. So I toned her to a really nice, pretty neutral blonde. And I was so proud of this one. So happy with the results. Hello, it's a few hours later. That was a project, let me tell you. I try to really do my best and give every color that I do 100% and you know, I obviously want to love everything I do, but sometimes you have some work that you're like, oh, like at the end you're like, I, I should have did this instead or this could have been a little bit better. With this, I was like, bitch. It came out so good, I was so proud of it, she loved it, and I, I just love when I'm able to deliver something because she said that she had been wanting to be blonde like forever. But every person that she ever went to always told her that like, no, it's not possible because of her hair texture and the color of it. And that if she were to go really blonde, it would completely fry her hair and it would take a whole bunch of sessions and blah, blah, blah. She didn't have any dark artificial color. So I was like, you can get really blonde, but how much time do you have? Because it's gonna take a while. It took me almost six hours to do all that from start to finish, but it was absolutely worth it. I'm about to make some dinner. So I've been ordering HelloFresh. This is not sponsored, okay? They didn't send these to me. I know every vlog where somebody's like making a HelloFresh meal, it's sponsored. This isn't, I promise you. Um, I paid for this 
with my own money and I figured because I'm back to work now I wanted to try this out so that it would just be a little bit easier for me because plus I'm by myself you know and especially when I'm tired and I come home from working a long shift I'm just hungry and tired and I don't want to like figure out what I'm gonna make you know so this is cool because it's easy and convenient so you get your little meals it comes in like a big box actually I have it because I just got a box the other day this is my second one now so far and it comes with all of the ingredients pre-portioned out and you use the full amount of what they give you so nothing is going to waste you're not throwing anything out and then they give you the cards for each different recipe and then it breaks down how to make it with pictures and everything like they make it so easy and foolproof so even if you suck at cooking it's like really easy and everything's quick they all take like around 30 minutes or less i'm making the barbecue pulled chicken tacos tonight i thought that sounded good when you sign up they give everybody the opportunity to like have your own little code and then you can like refer friends and then if they sign up they get money off and then you also get some money off too so i'll put my discount link in the description if you want to go sign up through that it's not like i'm not affiliated with them it's literally a link that anyone like once you get your membership you can have a link of your own too to share with family and friends i want to say when you use that link you get 40 dollars off and then i get 10 dollars off for each person on like my next box i think Something like that, I don't know. So if you wanna use it, go ahead, feel free. You get a little discount if you don't want to. I totally understand, that's fine. There we go, dinner is served. Super quick and easy. The chicken was already cooked and seasoned, so all I had to do was heat it up in a pot and just chop everything up and make the coleslaw. It smells really good, but let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, so good. Good morning, happy Friday. I'm about to head out to go to work. Here is my outfits. I got my glasses from Fermu on. I have a feeling that wearing my mask with these glasses is gonna be annoying and I'm probably gonna regret it because they're probably gonna end up fogging up. But my contacts were just like driving me crazy and I needed to take them out and give my eyes a break. So I'm gonna have to make do. Gold hoops from yesterday. This top is, I believe, from Cotton On. Then this skirt is from Forever 21. And then I have these sandals from Target. So I'm excited. Today should be a good day. I have three clients today. We'll see how much I'm able to actually vlog because yesterday my camera ended up dying. We'll see how much battery I got, how much I can end up recording. So my first client on this day had really long brunette hair. She had some old lighter color on her ends and she wanted a balayage, something a little bit lighter but not super blonde. So I decided to freehand paint her with clay lightener just to give her an overall lighter look and the results are so natural, so sun-kissed and Good morning. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what is happening here. Happy 4th of July. It is very late in the day. <laughs> it's already 29. I just woke up a little while ago. I have not slept in this late in months. But yesterday, my last client of the day, she is someone who has gone to my boss a few times. She's a client of hers, but not like someone who like loyally goes to her you know like she she hops around a little bit and so she had went somewhere else to get a balayage and they did like a half foil on her and the foils were very stripey and very uneven they were much lighter up top and around her face and then very orange on the ends 
and they didn't tone her like at all they literally just put the highlights on her washed them out did a very choppy haircut on her and sent her on her way she has like very 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 thick naturally straight hair so she wanted layers in her hair and they just like bluntly cut these layers which made the ends of her hair so thick and heavy and like you'd comb through her hair and the comb would get stuck on the ends of her hair because anytime you're cutting someone with super thick hair you need to like texturize the ends a little bit so that they're not so thick and solid like that and otherwise like especially when you're doing layers like you'll be able to see every layer and it'll just look very like steppy and choppy originally she was just in for like a shadow root and a gloss but then when i saw her hair i was like girl your ends are like so orange and so dark that in order to like cover over them and get rid of the orange we would have to make your hair brown which is like not what her goal was i was like let me see the pictures of what you asked for and like what you wanted so i decided you know what i gave her the option i was like listen we can just do like the shadow root and the gloss that's going to be the quickest and cheapest option but your hair is going to be brown or i can take the time and i can foil and i can cover everything and try to correct it and try to get you close to what you originally wanted i mean it's going to be a correction so it's not going to be as perfect as if you had came here originally that's going to take longer and it's going to cost more so i gave her the options she said you know i'd like to try to fix it i didn't record any of that because i at that point i was just like a lot and i was just tired and i know she felt like bad so i didn't want to like put her on the spot and start recording wow look at it in here my old room. All right, we had to pause for a second. My brother was in the area and he came by to drop something off. And then I figured I may as well just like get up and start getting ready. I was gonna be coming over to my parents' house anyway, you know, for like the holiday. We're gonna barbecue and then maybe do like some fireworks and stuff later. So that's where I am now. Oh my God, I'm so sweaty already. So, okay, I am gonna go just enjoy the day with my family.